Just five months ago, Peter B was the leader of PDP in Anambra. It is wrong to insult him. Olisa Metu. Welcome to the news and thank you for tuning in to listen. A former aide to Good Luck Jonathan, Olisa Metu has reacted to the political rancor in Anambra State by saying that a politician did not have to win an election before leaving a legacy in Nigeria. Metu further said that while he was a national publicity secretary of the People's Democratic Party, he was civil and decent in his engagement with the opposition party. Although he said he disagreed with the opposition then, despite the lies, bitterness and hatred in media engagement. He continued by saying that the media engagement should be restricted to promoting candidates while strongly exposing the weakness and flaws in the programs, policies and manifestos of contending interest. Only some metal posts read thus. In life, you choose your values, beliefs and principles. You do not have to win an election to leave a legacy to of your ideals. In my term as a National Publicity Sec Secretary, I insisted on a civil and decent style of engagement. I disagree with the then opposition party when they instilled the reign of lies, bitterness and hatred in media engagement. And today, we are stuck with some of these unwanted legacies in the media space. To buttress his point, he expresses his displeasure and dissatisfaction disappointment for his local government party publicity secretary who he said wrote a damning and inaccurate piece on the person of mr peter obi quoting him verbally metu said just under five months ago senior peter was the leader of the people's democratic party in anambra state and while it is okay to disagree with him on political issues i believe that it is totally wrong to openly abuse then degrades and insult a man for seeking what many believe is their political redemption. You see, politics of bitterness, you know, go well. Politics of bitterness, it doesn't go well. Instead of coming out to demarket a candidate, why not promote yours? I've said it time and time again. Obi was completely wrong about procedures. He came across the Obi was complaining about wrong procedures he came across in the People's Democratic Party, but they never listened. They decided to sing relevance in an obscure party that is trending presently. Why is the All Progressive Congress and the People's Democratic Party jittering now? Maybe they are seeing what we cannot see. These two parties, I'm sure, have P2P as part of their manifestos because none mentions anything without calling, without none, mention, none mentions anything without calling P2P's name. I tell you the truth. Most of them, they go online and, you know, immediately you ask them about P2B, they will continue in that line and before you know it, that particular program will go, will, will, will finish before, they, and they're still talking about him. All right. Okay. Um, They just want to hold the beat down in that embraces without t bad test of politics. He has smarted them. Oba and Ko should eat the People Democratic Party in an Amber State. All right. I'm sorry to say that top politicians in Igbo land are individually comfortable with being second or third class citizens, more especially people from Imo and an Amber State. 2019, Atiko chose Peter Obias as running mate, all of them crowned foul, blaming Atiko for not consulting everyone before settling for Obi. For them, that, for that reason, many of them worked against the People's Democratic Party. So that Obi will not be the vice president. Beginning from 2022, they made a statement that Igbo will not accept the VP position. It is either presidents or nothing. In PDP and APC, presidential position did not come to any Igbo man based on what, based on that, P2B went extra mile to become an Igbo presidential candidate. Now, the same people because of what they eat and drink. I mean, the left others from the north and southwest have started working against their own. What a shameless race of people. Well, unfortunately, this is not even about, you know, an able president. It is about, you know, someone who is competent, somebody who has shown he has a unique way of doing things and have a unique way of playing politics. That is who the people want now. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of your day.